Hey guys, um, I'm not gonna keep saying welcome to the Mountain Bear Show. Um, it's a thought, but nah. Anyhow, um, I was talking to a friend tonight, and he kind of asked me if I could do a serious video. I said, sure, I have no problem. Oh, I'm doing a serious video, and it was talking about how people in our own community put one another down and he said to him that was sort of gay bashing and um I don't know I I kind of agree to a certain extent and I kind of don't I did a video a while back talking about this but I think he's in a place that it's really tough to actually be himself even within his community and um that's kind of sad but, um, you know, I think if it's an individual on an individual having a conversation and it doesn't go either way for the person, to me, I don't consider that hate or gay. I think people can be hateful. Trust me, I know all too well. And, um, you know, when I, with my situation with the people up north in Maryland, um, you know, it's, it's a group of them. I don't care if they hate on me or not because I'm a grown-up and I can take it for myself at any time. And, uh, you know, to me, I kind of look at it this way. And like I was telling him, if bitches are able to talk behind your back, they're letting someone else rest. If they're letting that, if they're, you know, they, letting that other person rest, then guess what? It's no big deal. Just let it go. And... Uh, you know, for some people it's hard to let go and you know, people don't understand it hurts their feelings. Um I like the song Titanium because I kinda feel like my feelings are pretty strong. I, I will show my true feelings when I need to or when I have to. But to me, four or five people talking about me, fuck 'em. Bitches don't know me. If you wanna know me, talk to me and I'll let you know me. Um I also got a message tonight on Bear411, and it was a guy in Maryland, basically said, um, don't hate me from the area that I am because I'm in Maryland. I said, you know what, I don't hate people in Maryland. I hate bitches in Baltimore. And, you know, I kind of went into detail why I didn't like these certain people. Now, saying that, I'm not saying I hate all gays in Baltimore because I don't. I hate a group of them in Baltimore because they're they're like a hen house. And when you got bitches that are in a hen house, what are they going to do? They're going to start clucking. Well, these are some really good cluckers. So, but they don't cluck with me because I wish they would because I'd be a fox in their hen house. I'd be all up in their ass and not in a good way. Um, now, saying that, I kind of feel like if you have a problem with an individual, you need to take it up with that person. Um, trust me, I've said my piece. Um, you know, there's even one in Pennsylvania. I'm going to get all up in her head house. Big time. But, to me, I will bide my time with it. You know, and, you know, people that watch my videos and I'm getting all these good inputs and all this great feedback. I uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And no, this is not a hate video from me to anyone. You know, I just have a group of people, five or six, in a certain area that don't like me. And guess what? There's no love laws. <laughs> if they would walk off the face of the earth tomorrow, would not be no skin off my ass. And I know it's the same way for them. So saying that, uh, you know, I'm letting this part die down with me and people in, in that area. Now, I'm saying if I ever step foot in that area and I see them, I'm not speaking because I'm going to be talking. <laughs> or if I catch them in D.C. or Richmond or where in the fuck ever it is, I'm saying my piece. Um, that's just me as a person. Um, but now getting back to this person that wanted me to do this video... Um, you know, I kind of feel like people should have respect for one another. And if you don't have respect, the best thing to do is just keep your damn mouth shut. 
because you just don't know what kind of bullshit you're putting that other person through by you going around running your mouth about. Now, saying that, I think the person that wanted me to make this video, I think he needs to grow, grow a thicker skin because that's the only way he is able or will able to deal with people in the gay community. Period. Because if you don't have thick skin, and you you just will have your feelings hurt constantly, and I mean that, and um, that's the thing to do. And you need to overlook the bullshit, the pity shit, the little things. Pay no mind to them. Let them go. And if people cannot accept you for who you are, then it's time for you to get a new group of friends, or you need to associate with different people. You know, I've I've been in with the good and with the bad. I've had both situations and you know I come to a conclusion you know you hear stories about drag queens and the way they attack one another bears are the same goddamn way <laughs> I'm sorry we are it, you know it's the same mentality that we have you know if somebody is hot good looking not so good looking not rich not poor what have you they're they're being put down for some sort of sort, some sort of reason and um that's not fair to an individual because you really don't get to know a person unless you give them a chance. And uh, that's the sad part about it. You know, people don't let people have that opportunity to show them who they really are on the inside. Um, you know, um, I have a lot of ideas on how to start doing different videos and things like that. And I think one of the videos I would love to do is sit down with certain people and with our community and have like a, a conversation. Um, it could be an interview type of conversation. Or it could be a debate. And I'm telling you what. I am a damn good debater. Um, you know, especially if I want to get my point across. Um, I will stay my ground with it. But uh, I really think that would be a good concept to have. And I actually think that would be a good thing to talk about. Is the way we, tr we treat one another in our community. Um... Because at the end of the day, again, we don't know how we affect everyone. I never knew, swear to God, I never knew my videos would have any kind of impact on anyone's life. Except my own, because they're personal videos of mine that I'm putting out there. And I'm talking about them. And it's me, just me. And, uh, you know, it's the good and bad. But, you know, hearing the stories, you know, of what I've done for a certain person or... They appreciate what I said, or they see what I'm going through, or they like me, they think I'm hot. People actually get off to my videos, and I don't know why, because they're all G-rated. But at the same time, just hearing this, it's like, oh man, I really didn't realize this, that people are actually watching me, you know, speak my mind. So, and I think everybody has that kind of platform. If you got something to say, do a video. <laughs> You know, that's the best way to get yourself out there. Um, you know, one of, the, one of my next videos is going to be, or will be, um, talking about the bear community, period. Um, I'm not going to get in it right now because I want to take a little bit of side notes and you know, get my facts down before I start running my big ass mouth. And, you know, I'm not going to be putting people down, but I'm going to be putting my own two cents in where I think it should be with the bear community. And, uh... You know, I think everybody who knows me, they actually say, yeah, he's a bear. He's definitely a bear. And I'll tell you what, I am a bear. Um, there's nothing on me that is no signal that I'm not part of this community. Um, and there's some people that are in this community that I think needs to scoot their asses right along. Marshmallow eaters and things like that. But I'll get into that later. Um, God, this shit is... Thick. Yeah, I'm looking like a hippie, huh? <laughs> and, uh, you know, if... And I, I gotta say this to the people that has kids or that's been married. Appreciate you talking to me about your situations. I really do. I do want to let this out so people will know. I, I was never married. My son was... We had him out of wedlock. But he's my son. And... Nothing will take it away from me. Period. So, saying that, you know, I'm not ashamed of having him out of wedlock. I knew what I was before 
he even came into the picture. But there were situations that I had to deal with in my own little world at that time that I didn't come out. Um, oh, fuck it, I'm talking about it now. My brother, he came out before I did to my parents, and it kind of devastated my mom. She took all the blame on her, and it hurt her. I mean, she was hurt. Not because he was gay, and no, they did not disown him. It was that she was hurt because she thought it was her fault for the way he turned out. And what I mean by that, by being gay. And I was like, I can't do this. And I was, I'm the youngest of the four kids, and uh, I was like, you know, what do I do? What do I do? I don't want to hurt my mother any more than she's already hurting. So I tried to play the little straight thing for a couple of years, and my son was a product of that situation. And I'm not ashamed of it at all, and I will never be ashamed of it. And I finally came out when I was 28. Now, saying that, these little motherfuckers that are out in the community that do get on their knees and suck dick and get fucked in the ass and everything else, they turn around and they're like, oh, I'm not really out. Bitch, you're out enough. You know, that's there's a, that's a problem in our community is people that do hide themselves. Um, you know, I've, I've heard some horror stories of people coming out. Guess what? I never had it. My family, my mom, my dad, my sisters, my whole family, uncles and aunts and cousins, treat me the same way they treated me before I came out. Because at the end of that day, we are still family. And there's no different than, you know, us to them. And they know this. And uh, I have to say, I was, I'm one of the lucky ones that did not have the family that threw them out of the house, that mistreated them, that put them down, that talked about them, that did all this shit. I got friends for that. <laughs> Bam. But no, um, I have to say me and my brother got really, really lucky in having the family we got um, because we never had to hide ourselves like we did. Um, I mean, when he came out, he blew the door off the wall and woman all he is um, in all his glory, you know. So, and, you know, he's my sister and that's what I call him. He's my sister. And, uh, no, he has not had to change, but if he could, trust me, he would be all shared up. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it's nothing but love within our family. And, um, you know, I, I do appreciate the family I have. So saying that, you know, some of these people that keeps themselves in the closet and they keeps putting gay people down, but at the same time, they're doing the same thing I'm doing. You need to check your track record. Um, but this is a very long video, and it's very, I don't know, I, I guess this is a little serious about situations. So, um, you know, again, I, I like the topic. I like talking about it. So if anybody else has a suggestion to talk about, please let me know. I'm willing to dice it up and bring my two cents in on it. Um because I think that's what we need. We need to open discussions between everyone to see how we all feel. So, anyhow, you guys, you have a good night. This video might not post because it's almost 14 minutes. Good God. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm going to stop this for now. I'm going to post it. Y'all be good, and I'll talk to you later. Mm, bye.